Hey guys, welcome back to the Whoevercraft server. I haven't really had a whole bunch of time to play or record. I've been working like seven days a week, and last week I was sick, so yeah. It's been kind of a mess, but I just want to do a quick video and kind of just show you what I've been up to. I have done a little bit of stuff here. As you can see, I've got a full enchanting set up, set up now here. It uh, goes all the way up to 30. Efficiency 4, I'm breaking, th oh, I'm breaking 3. Um, that'd be worth getting. I am so short on diamonds. Put it in my lapis. I am so sh so short on diamonds right now that uh, I'm breaking three. Just I'm breaking three. All right, be that way. But yeah, I've been some. Uh, as you can see, I've got a little dealy bobber there. We'll get to that here just in a second. Um, these are all the diamonds that I've got right now, 11. So I've got a, a plenty of iron. I've been kind of recouping my lo my losses after work doing all those projects. Uh, I've been growing jungle trees and getting some wood out of, out of the dam, which helps with doing sticks and stuff. But, you know, like fencing and everything now is, um, you know, is, uh, oops, sorry about that, is uh, based on the uh, wood type. So, you know, as I said before, the jungle trees aren't nearly as useful as they used to be. I uh, got some potatoes going and nothing in there. Okay. And I just kind of reworked this little area here. So, yeah, I thought it turned out all right. And then here is my little brewing setup here. Got my little brewing stand set up. Got some nether wart there. And I need to add a nether wart farm to the... Um, what did I do with all that stuff? I had, I had a bunch of nether work here somewhere. Oh, you know what? I bet I put it over here. Yeah. Well, 17, that's not too much. Uh, I want to start that nether work farm over there uh, in the community farms. So we'll get that set up here soon. Um, killing some rabbits. I guess I can throw that in the, in the oven here and let it cook while we're... While we're doing stuff, I don't know if that music's a little, a little on the loud side. I can't really tell. Yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah, I did that. I did this. And what time is it? Oh, it's night time. Let me show you what I've been doing out here. I've been just uh, having some fun, actually. Trying to, you know how bad the. Uh, the field is there all the thugs hang out on the street corners and you know it's just just not good so what I've been doing is adding some lighting to it uh, I've been using all those pumpkins and yeah, got some little scarecrows out there to scare off the undesirables and of course it's not 100% complete but it does help I think a little bit at least it keeps them on the fringes you know and that's the main thing except for zombies which can track you halfway across the map which is ridiculous but it's the way it is but yeah it kind of lights up the area here and uh, as I said all except for zombies let me do a little area missed up I, I haven't got 100% coverage on it yet still working on it I threw quite a few pumpkins because there's jack-o'-lanterns there's the armor stands are sitting on jack lanterns. Figured I'd use all those sticks that I had to um, to make them so. But it does light it up a little bit. <laughs> I forgot to lit up the uh, top of these here, so I was coming by here, and there's a creeper standing right there. So I had some torches up there. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. But yeah, are we getting any? Oh, look at that! Got a whole stack now. But yeah, I need these. Uh, I've been raiding the pumpkin farm here for pumpkins. And so, yeah, need to light up a little bit down there. But I'm not going to, you know, it's not going to be 100% coverage. And this, I'm just trying to reduce the numbers because it's just gotten so ridiculous. You can't do anything out here with being, without, you know, getting mobbed by... 40 zombies and spiders and skeletons and everything else. It's crazy. I wanted to take you over there and show you what uh, DT did to the uh, 
zombie farm because uh, he really did a good job on that. Yeah, he showed it in his video, but I'll, I'll go ahead and sh in case you didn't see his video, I'll show it to you in mine. Here, let's get let's get up on the path here because there's just so much stuff going on over here. We can run up the path a little quicker, and then we'll go over. Stop it. Eat some some meat. Didn't really need to. Could wait till three, but did anyways. Oop, speed, speed, yay. Zoom, zoom. I need to raid those pumpkins. <laughs> zoom. Oh, ran out. Darn it. Oh, don't fall down the death hole. So many death holes here. Yeah, I'll tell you, so I was sick for a week. I lost my voice. And I mean, I really lost my voice. I could not hardly say anything. And uh, it's still a little scratch on the scratchy side. So let's see. Uh, oh, there's DT's house. Look at that. That's looking good. Uh, still a little bit on the scratchy side for sure. But I think it's better. I think it's good enough at least, you know, as good as it's as sound quality as I can manage anyways. It's not like I have the best sound quality anyways. <laughs> you know, I've got such a noisy setup over here. I'd like to get a decent computer that's nice and quiet. And I wouldn't have to do all this messing around with the audio all the time. But, you know, I just it's not in the cards right now for sure. So, you know, and the computer works good enough. So, yeah. But uh, he's been working on this. Look at this. What? changed it around a little bit or was it like that I, I thought it was bigger than that someone must have shut it closed it up a little bit for the maybe it's getting too much light in there but anyways you just hit the switch and there you go Boom, there they start spotting and uh you know he's got the he's got the uh, little it's kind of dark back here. Then. Is that gonna put too much light in it? No. But this, you know, they they uh, fall down here and then go up the water carrier thing, Bob. Oh, oh now what's this? Okay, now that's something new I have not seen. But anyways, you just fall down over here, and then you, uh, you know, brew up your little splash potion, so I don't see any in here. But, you know, you just whack them. They're like one, two hit kills. So, which is about the best, the best you can do with uh, zombies. You know, because uh, zombies have the armor value. So, you know, even, even if they don't wear armor, they have, they have an internal armor value. So, uh, I don't know why I keep doing that. Alright, I want to see what this is. I don't have a uh, rail cart, though. I just said, this is something new. This must be something DT put in. Does it go to his house? Oh, I bet it goes to his house. What do you want to bet? Let's, let's, let's check it out. He's always sneaking around my place, so let's sneak around his place. <laughs> I don't know if that really jumping really helps or not. Oh, it, it does go to his place, doesn't it? Yeah, I figured. <laughs> yeah, he's oh, he's got some farms set up. Look at that. Oh, he's got a bunch of pumpkins. I ought to steal all those pumpkins. What the heck? Trees, trees, more trees. And cows, chickens, sheep, and what else? Uh, that, what's up here? Oh, this is his house proper, I guess. Oh, he's got another work growing there. Okay. Yeah, I got a little chanting system. Oh, look at all these chests. Wow. Yeah, okay. What's that? Oh, just a little thing. Okay, yeah, here's the interior of the house. A little, little more storage, brewing supplies. Yeah, there it goes. Look at that. That looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, I like this. I like it a lot. 
Ooh. Yep, looks good. All right, let's go back down to his secret rail line. Secret rail line. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Cows. Two sets of trees. Let's go. Secret rail line. Yay. All right. I got one more thing to show you guys. This one is, uh, I told you, you know, that shaft that I have down there. It, uh, you know, goes down to level 12. goes down to diamond level. It's basically my mining shaft I was mining. I decided I'm going to tunnel straight south because if I go straight south, I will run into the... Um, island or or the i don't know if it's an island it's not i don't think it's an island it's a continent but anyways run into the area where uh i uh saw did i not turn, oh i turned off okay um run into the area where uh i have the desert and where i want planning on putting my base there's actually it's in, it's a really nice spot and we're gonna head over there pretty quick here I want to do some more things around the um, round spawn here. Oh, look at that death hole. Round spawn there, here, and uh, then we'll head on over. Look at this guy standing up there, sniping. Oh, yeah, that's where that creeper blew up. I still need to fix that, don't I? That's what I need to do is fix all my creeper holes. I think I'll do that today while I'm on here. But, uh, death hole. Um, yeah, there's like six biomes that kind of all meet right there. There's a desert, there's a swamp, there's a jungle, a uh, flower forest, which is a small flower forest, but I want to put my house there. Flower forest and what else is over there? Uh, plains. There's, of course, a village and a, a desert temple that DT found over there. DT had already discovered that area. Uh, which I'm not really interested in the villages anyways, but he's got all the villagers locked up So we may just make them secure and make a little villager spot. I don't know uh, I'm not really big into villagers to be honest. I think the trading model that they have in the, in the game is Worth next to worthless in my opinion. So I rarely bother with villagers um, You know, it's just they're more trouble than they're worth as far as I'm concerned I think they're, they're good for iron golem farms, but other than that, I just don't really find them all that useful. Yeah, I mean, I know you can get, some, get them all traded up and stuff, but, they, you know, I just, you know, I'm not really interested in having infinite amount of diamonds or any of that kind of stuff. You know, once you reach that level in the game, then what's the point of playing the game? You know, like, uh, you know, I watch Doc Cam and stuff every once in a while, and they have all these, you know, they're ingenious, the the uh, the contraptions that they have. But once you reach that level of automation, you know, you're done as far as the game is concerned. There's no reason for you to go ever go mining again or, you know, doing any of that other stuff because you have infinite amount of resources being generated, and, you know, it's kind of, you know the game's over with as far as i'm concerned so i don't know i've just not ever been really that big into doing all this big automation stuff you know the, of course the excuse for youtubers is well that you know we don't have time to record but i mean what else are you what else are you going to do you end up just doing the same stuff over and over again that's why i don't watch any of these big guys uh you know like uh minecraft i watch etho i've been watching zisto that's about it and I watch more of their other stuff than I do their Minecraft stuff. Oh, we want to go down here. Uh, <clears throat> because, you know, they reset the map every, you know, 50 episodes, let's say. And then they just turn around and do the same exact stuff all, all over again. So, you know, it's just, uh, of course, you know, there's always so much stuff you can do in, in Minecraft. You know, I'm doing the same thing, doing the same thing here. You know, it's just. When you play vanilla, you're just, you know, it's not like you can add anything new to the game. It's just, that's, you know, you're just playing the game and you're limited on what you can do. So, you know, you have to by necessity. I mean, I'm not complaining about these guys doing the same thing over and over again. It's what the game forces you to do. 
I found this area over here and been exploring it, getting a few resources, but not much. There is hardly any resources around spawn here. I mean, it, it, as far as diamonds, those 11 diamonds, that's what I've, uh, I have not used those diamonds for anything. That's just the amount of diamonds that I found, you know, going down this one strip here and exploring all these side caves. 11 diamonds, that's it. It's ridiculous. So, yeah, it's like super, I don't know, spawn area. It's not like it's been mined out, because there's nobody been mining over in this area. It's just, there's hardly any diamonds over here. I know Groovy in his area, he's found a bunch of diamonds, and I think you just have to go outside of the spawn areas in order to really get to where the resources are. I found quite a bit of diamond, or irons, which is good, which is what I use mostly anyways. You know, I use mostly diamond armor, or uh, uh, iron armor, and and iron tools and stuff for the most part. But anyways, I was digging down this way, and you mem remember me mentioning the fact that I had found a ocean monument on my way on the trip south. Well, I hadn't realized it, but I had actually tunneled. Cow! I had actually tunneled up underneath this thing. And we should be getting it here pretty soon. So I've what I've done is I've built a little base here. This is underneath it. It's raised up out of, off the ground. I've never seen this before. I don't know if they're all like this or not. But that's actually the bottom of it right there. But uh, yeah, it's raised up off the ground. So I had to go actually build all the way up. I'm surprised we haven't gotten uh, mining fatigue yet. Anyways, here's my little base I set up here. Uh, nether wart for... Potions. You got potions. Let's stand and, uh, now this room right here that I tunneled into actually had a guardian in it, and I think got a sponge. I found a sponge. Up oh, there it is. That's why I got the cow down there because uh, I've got buckets here, and uh, I was drinking the milk. Of course, you know you can't take any other potions. You know, like night vision or anything uh, when you drink the milk. But for mining, you know, for for placing blocks and whatnot, I was using the milk, so I would, you know, get a bunch of buckets of milk. That's why I had the cow down there, and I drink the milk, which gets rid of the mining fatigue. But uh, yeah, I had a doors here because it did just like this. So I do need to ex to explore this a little bit more. But uh, all I've done is set up the base here, and I killed the um, I killed the uh, guardian that was here. So there's two more in here still, obviously, since we have mining fatigue. But, uh, yeah, I used the little jungle doors because you've got the little place you can look out. See, that goes to the outside. I just move back there. But, uh, yeah, this is all I've done, basically. This was a little area inside the, um, inside where the guardian room was. Uh-oh, shoot me. Inside where the guardian room was. So, uh, these, uh, pillars here were already there. So I just built around them. And, yeah, I got myself a little setup here. So, uh. Yeah, we'll tackle this here once I get a uh, better gear set up. Because uh, you know, I don't, I don't have any decent gear at all right now. And uh, what I'm thinking about doing is, see, that's on the outside here. And I can't really tell. I'm not sure. There's like a square right there. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Cause I don't remember that. Oh, oh, okay, I know what that is. I was testing out the sponge. <laughs> and there's, that's actually an air pocket, I believe. It's here somewhere. Well, I'm not going to get in there because I don't want to drown. But, uh, yeah. So, got me one sponge. And uh, what I'm thinking about doing maybe is just building like a tunnel straight across. There's a wall over there, as you can see. It's building a tunnel straight across, and then I can get rid of the water with the sponge make it a little easier the technique I used here because this was all underwater you know this whole thing was all underwater so uh, the technique I used here who can I get, 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 get you guys oh they can get me though wow I didn't know they could do that through the corners oh. do they have like thorns if I hit them they... do they have thorns that's weird uh, Oh, the technique I used was to use uh, uh, signs and pressure plates. 
And what I would do is I make the path with pressure plates. I just put the pressure plates down, which which gets rid of the water block here. And then I would do signs along the side. You know, I would like to go out there. What I'll do is I'll run a row of pressure plates over to the wall, and then I'll put a bunch of blocks on either side of it, kind of because it gives you an area that you can walk without walking in the water, because you're actually walking in a in a you're actually walking in the air pocket, see? So, makes walking a little easier. Boom. And then what I'll do here is I'll build a wall up. Oh, ah, dang it. Boy, they really get you. That's why I need better armor. <laughs> Anyways, you set up a path of pressure plates like that. That gets rid of the water block at the, at the bottom. And then, oh, they're walking on them. Idiots. And then you got, you know, you put in the line of uh, cobblestone and then add signs to it. And, uh, you know, if, if you just go one wide like this would be, just one wide that way, then it gets rid of all the water. Put a, put the top on it. Like this one here had water uh, all the way through it. So I just, I placed signs on all of the walls. And then, uh, you know, that left most of the open area here without water. And then I just... Uh, I just uh, used uh, blocks to blocks in the milk to. Uh, this is what I did. Drink the milk. Ooh. No potion effects. But of course, you know, you do that. You can't take night vision and all that. But I need to get geared up and get some more potions going and whatnot before I tackle that. So, yeah, that'll be another episode, probably down the line, some. But uh, yeah, so I've got it all set up though. But if you guys on the server want to come and uh, mess around over here, help yourself. There isn't really anything in that temple that I'm all that excited about getting. So, uh, you know, feel free to come in there. And if you want to go ahead and tackle that yourself, feel free to do it. So, all right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for me on this session. Just kind of little uh, stuff and things, you know, really nothing much to do. And I just haven't had a lot of time, I'm afraid. And it's going to be like that till the end of the year, I suspect. So. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, anyways, I just kind of wanted to give you a little update, if nothing else. So, appreciate it, guys, and I'll talk to you again next time. Goodbye.